Good Shabbos, everybody, to SW3 and every, everywhere beyond, and good Chodesh as well, today being the first day of the month of Av. The parasha this week, and in Israel, we finally collide together and reconnect. With us, it's the double parasha of Matos Masse, and in Israel, it's just Masse. And Masse means journeys. And the Torah is very particular in the first 40 sentences describing every single place the Jewish people sojourned from when they left Egypt until the cusp of the border of the Promised Land. Every single place. Now, if I asked any of you, name me one place in the desert that the Jewish people definitely were, you would say Sinai. Sinai Desert, Mount Sinai, the Torah, and yet, of all the places, Sinai is not mentioned. Why? Our rabbis give us a beautiful answer. If you look at the wording and the descriptions of the journeys, it says, Vayisu Vayachanu. Vayisu means they traveled from one place, Vayachanu, and they camped somewhere else. Then, Vayisu, they traveled from that place, Vayachanu, and then they camped somewhere else. And it goes on until it gets to the border. When it comes to Sinai, we never left somewhere and just camped in Sinai and left Sinai. Our rabbis are telling us that the Torah is very simply reminding us that in our minds, in our hearts, in our heads, we never leave Sinai. Once we arrived in Sinai, Sinai comes with us wherever we are. The Torah was given outside of Israel for that very reason. So we do not worry that it's reliant totally on Israel itself. For so many years we didn't have the promised land to just to go to and to pray and to study and to enjoy. So what? Sinai is specifically outside of the promised land. The Torah is ours whether we have a land or not. The Torah is ours whether we are happy or sad whether we are moving physically or spiritually, or whether we are camped in one place. Because we have Sinai, because we have that gift from God, we are and always will be the lucky chosen few who are there to endure happy times and during the next nine days, the saddest times of the year. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom wherever you are. Thank you.